I'm not only going to give you uh, news you can use, but also advice you can use. And one uh, way to start your day that a friend who visited, a rare visitor here to Odessa, gave me was you wake up in the morning and drink some warm water or tea and try to make that happen until noon. It's called intermittent fasting. I'm sure many of you heard of it. Uh, do your workout in the meantime and you'll really be burning the stuff that needs to be burnt. A few developments at the Olympics today, but uh, I was fascinated by, um, because I'm a former spokesperson, I've done countless press conferences. Uh, one held by the IOC officials, uh, let's not get into their track record for uh, lack of ethics and other things, but it was really um, interesting in the sense that uh, they focused on gender equality, which is a great thing. None of us could argue with that. One thing they said was that it's the first Olympics ever with absolutely 50-50 uh, gender equality, uh, total gender equality, not only within um, flag bearers and uh, the IOC itself, but uh, across the teams, like so on the field, so to speak. Uh, so when pressed by a Globe and Mail reporter, so what are the numbers or what's the percentage of gender uh, kind of divides on, on the teams? on the delegations, and they had no idea. Uh, they said, oh, we have to wait till the end of the games. I don't know, sounds kind of fishy to me, but it was one thing that really stood out me, at me was that if you're gonna go full throttle on the gender equality thing, at least have the statistics ready at your hand, especially something as basic as that. So here is the other events that uh, happened today. That's it from here in Odessa. Um, again, uh, get some inspiration by uh, the guys and girls behind me uh, doing their fitness. Summertime in the Northern Hemisphere, no better time to uh, get into shape before the winter comes and we all slow down. Have a great, great day.